Hi guys, Tiana Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mosaic number balloon. I've created this before, but I'm just showing you a different number today. This is a three foot balloon mosaic. Now we're going to get into the supplies that you'll need. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to head over to Conva.com and then you need to go to the Creative Design and select Custom Size. First, you're going to change the dimensions from pixels to inches and then in the width, you're going to put 30 and then the height, you're going to put 40 and select OK. Creative Design, I mean, I'm sorry. Next, you're going to go to text on your left, enter a new text box, and then you're going to select the font of your choice. I'm using Alpha Slab 1, but you can choose whichever you desire. Then you're going to enter the letter or number of your choice and resize it as big as you possibly can. So the next part is optional. You can keep the letter or number solid or you can just um, print the outline. To do that, you're just going to go into effects and select hollow. And the last step in Canva is to download your image as a PDF file. Okay, so after you convert it to a PDF in Canva, you're going to go to your PDF reader. The only PDF reader I know that this works on is Adobe Reader. That's it. I've tried other readers and I don't see how it works, but Adobe Reader. And then you're going to print it as a poster and it's going to print out on multiple pages. So as you can see, it says 15 pages, even though you're not going to use all 15 pages, it's just going to print out on 15 pieces of paper. So after you print out your pages, you're going to piece the pages together like a puzzle. I didn't do this on camera. You can check that out on the previous video, but it's all pieced together. So next, I'm going to take two foam boards and tape them together. Please excuse the artwork on my foam boards. Once again, my kids decided that they wanted to write on my foam boards. So anywho, um, you're going to take some tape and piece two of the foam boards together and tape it together as close as possible. Next, you're going to take your letter or your number and you're going to trace it onto your board. I use pens to keep the to keep the number in place. You don't have to do that. I also trace it around, but you don't have to do that. You can just cut it out with your box cutter. So now I'm going to take my box cutter and cut out the number on the foam board.
So the next thing I did was take two of the additional foam boards and I measured out five inch pieces and then I'm gonna cut out those five inch pieces. So unfortunately I lost the footage of me actually putting those borders around the number. I do have two additional videos showing how I actually do that and I apologize again. So now I'm just taking the balloons that I purchased. I purchased five inch balloons, one pack of five inch balloons, two pack of nine inch balloons, one in purple and one in pink. And then I'll be using the balloon machine that I purchased from Amazon to blow these balloons up. And then I'm just gonna place them inside of the balloon mosaic to see how I want them to be positioned. After I see how I want them to be positioned, then I'm just gonna glue them down with a hot temp glue gun. It has to be a hot temperature glue gun. You can also use glue dots. For me, those didn't work previously. So I've decided to use a hot temp glue gun. After you blow up the balloon, you're gonna push it down to release some of the air and that's also gonna help round out the balloon. Here's the final product of the balloon. I did go in and add some additional balloons to fill in the spaces. I didn't show that on camera. Also, I did build a stand for the back of the balloon so that it stays up. And also, I did end up covering my kids' artwork with some poster board later on. Thank you for tuning into my video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will see you on the next video.